On or about uh, 2 a.m. May 10th, 2010, it was discovered at 2108 uh, 21st Street here in Rockford, Illinois, uh, that both Michael Clark and Krista Clark uh, were deceased. At this point in time, after an investigation that was conducted by the Rockford Police Department, Alexander G. Castillo, date of birth 2-8-1984, has been arrested. Mr. Castillo was arrested by the Janesville, Wisconsin Police Department on May 10th, 2010. Mr. Castillo is currently being held in the Rock County, Wisconsin jail. The arrest warrant itself contains a no bond setting. The Rock County District Attorney's Office has confirmed uh, with myself that they have begun the extradition process in fact, I believe that it's going on this afternoon in the Rock County Courthouse. As a result of the investigation conducted by the City of Rockford Police Department, the following charges have been filed in case number 10 CF 1409. Four counts of first degree murder have been charged regarding Alexander G. Castillo. Uh, each count contains a minimum of 45 years in the Department of Corrections if convicted. Since this offense involves the death of two individuals, that contains also the possible penalty of the death uh, under the Illinois uh, Criminal Code and Law. It is alleged that Alexander G. Castillo committed the offense of first degree murder and that he entered the home of Michael Clark and Krista Clark. It is further alleged that Mr. Castillo shot and killed Michael Clark. It is further alleged that Mr. Castillo shot and killed Krista Clark. It is believed that Mr. Castillo acted alone. It is also believed that Mr. Castillo did not commit a random act. I think it's important to note at this point in time uh, that coroner is present, that the autopsies have been conducted. I'm going to uh, give um, Ms. Fiducia a moment to address you on uh, that account and also let you know that uh, Deputy Chief Lindmark is here to answer any questions concerning where we are. The investigation is at this time ongoing and uh, as far as uh, where um, and when we will conclude, um, I'll give him an opportunity to address that if necessary, uh, but this time I'd like to ask Ms. Fiducia to step up. Thank you, Joe. The autopsies have just actually been completed about 15, 20 minutes ago. Krista Clark died as a result of multiple gunshot wounds. Michael Clark died as a result of a single gunshot wound. Both of them were pronounced dead on the scene when the coroner's office arrived. Uh, Rockford Fire Department was on the scene, made pronouncement of death, and then we were called, arrived on the scene, and took charge of the bodies. Thank you. Questions? So okay. the multiple gunshot wounds, can you describe the parts of the body where Krista was, was shot? I, I mean, I'll let Ms. Fiducia, but this is a matter of ongoing investigation at this point in time. The information is something that would be uh, pertinent to the investigation itself. But if Ms. Fiducia wants to comment about the multiple gunshot wounds. Yeah, that, that's fine. Just as the investigation continues, we don't release that information on either him or her. Just the fact that she died as a result of multiple gunshot wounds. Any kind of number or just multiple? Um, at this point, we're leaving it at multiple. Okay. Is there a motive established for this incident? Now, at this point in time, uh, there wouldn't be anything that we could comment with regards to motive, but we want to, again, emphasize for the purposes of the public, make sure that they understand that we do not believe that this was a random act, and we do believe um, that Mr. Castillo was, in fact, acting alone, and we want that information to go out to the public so they have some reassurance uh, as to where we are with the current status of the investigation. Could you comment on did the... Uh defendant know the, uh, the victims? The, it is believed that there was a relationship um, to the victims. Was was there any forced entry or, or not? Couldn't comment on that at this time. What was the relationship to the victims? Couldn't comment at this time. How were police notified about this crime? It, uh, the notification came 
from uh, a neighbor who called it in. What's happening to the kids who are in the house at the time? The, the kids right now are, the children that were in the house at the time, the seven-year-old and the one-year-old, are in protective custody. We understand there was a third child who was not home at the time of the murders. Can you confirm that? I can't confirm that at this time. And only the information regarding the two children that were present at the time. And by the way, they were transported to Swedish American Hospital and checked, and they were unharmed. Can you give the genders of the children? No, not at this time. Were drugs found in the house? I'm not going to comment on the investigation. Could you go, go more into the how the defendant knew the victims, the relationship? No, not at this time. That's part, pertinent part of the ongoing investigation. Can you tell us when you believe that the, um, the victims were uh, shot? If what time? Yeah. It was pro approximately 2 a.m. on May 10th. And the police arrived at what time? Uh, I'll let Chief Lindmark comment on that. It was just moments. It was just moments after the initial call to the police regarding a possible shooting inside this residence. Did the neighbor call, hearing gunshot wounds? Was, was that it? There were neighbors that did hear gunshots, um, and the neighbor did call. Okay. Can you tell us how the suspect was caught? Um, we had developed uh, the suspect. We we developed um, we had information that led us to believe that he was in Janesville, Wisconsin. We contacted Janesville Police Department. They had several officers out in a couple different locations watching for this potential suspect. Murder charges uh, were authorized by the state's attorney's office. We conveyed that to the Janesville Police Department. They took him into custody. Uh, after that, we sent detectives up to Janesville to, uh, to continue the investigation regarding this. Um, there was evidence that was obtained, although I can't be specific on what evidence was obtained. And then further interviews were conducted until uh, the late hours last night. Do you have a last known address for Mr. Castillo? Yes, and, I, and the only thing I can tell you is it was in Janesville, Wisconsin. Can, I can't go specifically to the address, but it was Janesville, Wisconsin. With uh, Mr. Castillo's history, does he have any prior arrests? Can't, can't comment on that. Can you say whether it was domestic or drug-related? Can't comment on that. It's part of the ongoing investigation. 